high school basketball coach, I think anybody would tell you their dream is to go play for a state championship. And this is 21 years for me, and that's been a dream of mine a long time. Uh, fortunately for me, we got a group of kids that uh, were able to get us there. We've all experienced the loss, the ending of a season when we didn't think our season should be over. I hope to play even harder, knowing that Drew and I, this is our third time being there. So just this time, we've got to put it all in line. The slow process started back in uh, June. It's just progressively developed into what it is today. It definitely takes a lot of practice, especially the uh, traps and rotations and stuff. And we had a lot of bad practices of running because we weren't doing it good. Woodard's put a lot of stuff in for us this summer that's really helped us take the next level. Like all the scrimmages that we've done, we've played against Division One teams that, are, that were ranked in Division One. The Florida trip really helped us a lot to see what we needed to work on. That loss against Linden, I think it really woke us up. From there on out, we knew we had to get that focus back, and then we started turning into the beast that we were. It seems like every year there's one game that kind of catapults you mentally. Very clearly it was at St. Vee's. After the St. V game, we kind of realized it's going to be tough to beat us. All five of us just have a different style of game, and it's pick your poison really with us. You, if you can't guard all five, then this is not going to happen. We like to get up and down a lot and pressure the ball as much as we can. And we're pretty versatile in our matchups. We just love beating people. We love winning. We love killing people. When you're really beating people bad, um, you get a little, a little confidence. And not too much, though. Number one, we've got really good kids that are really talented. Number two, I think our coaching staff has done a great job putting our kids in the right situations all year. Uh, our scouting has been uh, phenomenal. He just puts us in the right positions to succeed and like all through practice or anything like that, he's just always taught us how to work our hardest. He's never let us slack off. He's never let us do anything but our best. We'll, we'll be up 40 at halftime against someone and he'll still have five dashes where we're giving up however many offensive rebounds. and. Um, he's just a perfectionist, and uh, there's no other way to be when it comes to coaching. The one thing that I've done is that uh, it's, it's their team, and I've given them probably a little more freedom than I've given any other team uh, in my career. I'm sure I'll get a lot of flack from the former players that uh, uh, I'm not as strict and strengthened as I used to be, but uh, I always tell them maybe I'm just a little smarter now than I was then. in our community and uh, the support we've had. Uh, how could you not be excited to, to play in front of the, the community that we have right now? Our games are always sold out. We always have a great fan support. They just, they've helped us as much as we've helped them. We knew that we could make it definitely to the regionals, but we knew we had to put a little bit more effort in to get to the Final Four. Losing last year, it was definitely hard. We knew we didn't want to feel like that again, so we, we kept the same focus throughout the regular season because we knew that would bring us to another level, and then once the tournament started, we just bumped it up another level of focus. For me personally, uh, it was really a fear of failing again uh, at that particular game. But, uh, but this group's had a different feel since day one.
it's just hard to describe. You're just so full of happiness and emotions. You just, I honestly didn't know what I was thinking. I was just smiles the whole time. For the community, especially through what we've all been through recently, it's, it gives a sense of hope and just brings everybody together for at least two or three hours of, of a day. And it really sets in, I think of it every time we get to cut down a net or we get a sectional or a regional or whatever we get. I think like, wow, this is nice, but what if this and what if this? I just want to win. That's all I want. I just want to win two more. We're not here to participate. We're not here for the hype. Mm -hmm. We came here to win a basketball game. We're as focused as we've ever been. We had one main goal this summer, not only going to state, but we want to win state. I dream about it every single night, really. It'll be a crazy ride when it ends. It's been exciting. It's been uh, a lot of hard work. We've stayed really focused, and um, it's not over yet. I go to the state tournament every year for 20 years now as a coach, and sit in that uh, arena and think about what it would be like to see maroon and white uh, fill up that uh, the one end of the gym. And, uh, I've got that picture clearly in my mind.